Good morning, good evening. I hope you guys are having a nice time. So today we are here to explore a very interesting topic as you can see on the slide. It's a complete AWS security hands-on and we will be using Splunk as a SIM tool. So you can see that uh, we are going to make a use of a cloud trail logs. We will also be exploring S3 access logs. Uh, we will also be looking at ELB access logs. We will be looking at VPC flow logs as well. Just to brief about the scenario, uh, this is the day one. We will only be covering what we can find with respect to cloud trail logs, right? So the scenario starts, uh, we basically received AWS abuse notice from the uh, uh, Amazon Web Services that your access keys or AWS access key is compromised, right? So somebody basically uh, publishes AWS access key on a, a public GitHub repository, right? So this is how the scenario starts. So the, this is essentially a day one. We'll be looking at cloud trail logs and we will try to see what, what we can find. And then uh, in the subsequent uh, demonstrations, we'll be looking at what, uh, what we find when we try to uh, look in the other data sources as well, right? So without any delay, I will, I will get started. So just give me a sec. So, yes, so let me start with the uh, search console and I will be closing this, I will also be closing this. So for example, I will just uh, would like to go back to our home page. source type uh, or rather I would take my query from what I have consolidated so far. So the very first thing we'll be looking at, so I will be explaining you all these stuff, uh, no worries about that. Uh, since this is a static data set, I will be interesting in, in all time and let's make a use of verbose mode only as of now. So before I uh, make a use of the Splunk console, you know, I would like to uh, move on to the second slide. So as I was telling you that, uh, you know, you can refer these kind of the screenshots, you know, the very first screenshot at the uh, left hand side and topmost side, you can see that uh, somebody uh, publishes uh, basically the access AWS access key IDs on a public GitHub repository and therefore, you know, the AWS access key is compromised. And in the in the bottom side, you can also see uh, how does uh, the AWS abuse a notice looks like. So to get started uh, with our scenario, what we have is in the AWS abuse notice. Now we know that what is the access key that has uh, been compromised, right? So for example, I can just uh, I can just make a note of uh, this particular access key ID uh, for the future purposes. Moving on to the Splunk console. So, uh, yeah, so before I do that, you know, in the slide, you can also see the profile, uh, the act, the corresponding profile uh, with, with respect to the access key, which has already been compromised. Uh, the user profile is web admin, right? So I can make a use of either of them. Uh, either the username should be a web admin or I can make use of uh, the access key ID, which is listed here. So in the Splunk search, I am basically making the use of uh, the username, which is web admin, what, what we have uh, found, you know, uh, what we have found from the previous slide. So in this particular query, uh, we are basically trying to look at what kind of activities that has already been carried out with the help of compromise AWS access key ID. So you can see that the e uh, the activities which are being performed are create access key, uh, create default VPC, create user. Uh, so all these kind of the events are or all the activities are being carried out, right? So in the second uh, query, uh, you know, so again we would like to see, uh, you know, uh, so uh, in 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 a certain chronological order what kind of the events or what kind of the activities that has been carried out with the help of the compromised uh, aws access key so i will be moving on to the second query 
so you can see this is the source type is uh, AWS Cloud Trail, and again I have explicitly mentioned uh, the uh, the user profile which is corresponding to uh, the AWS uh, compromised access key ID. Then uh, we are basically sorting the results so that we know what has happened first, and you know, and subsequently thereafter. And then I am trying to group the results by the event name, source IP address, AWS region and the time as well so if i ran this particular command uh, you can see the results so for example you can see uh, from this uh, compromise user identity we can see uh, somebody tries to create an access key somebody tries to create a default vpc so the create so we will we will be looking at some other stuff as well but just wanted to give you the visibility so the first thing we see that somebody tries to create a new uh, uh, you know uh, access credential or permanent access credential uh, with the help of the compromise access key and somebody is also trying to create the default vpc you can see uh, 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 you, uh, this attacker or uh, you can say this is an attacker because he has gotten the hold of the um, you know uh, compromise access key you can see he attempted to create a default vpc in the region northeast one then again northeast two uh, and then south so there are multiple regions he attempted to do the same right Moving on, so uh, yeah, so let me take this. So, so for example, you know, in this particular case, uh, I can also. Uh, so, for example, there might be some of the attempts or some of the activities. You know, he might be successful at, and some of the activities he is not authorized to do that. Right. So, what I can do is I can explicitly mention here a result dot error. code is equal to so now i know that what are the events he has been successful at right so or or else what i can do is uh, let's uh, sorry about that result dot error message so we would like to see uh, what are the events or what are the activities he has been successful at or what are the activities he is not authorized to perform with the help of the compromised uh, AWS access key ID. So you can see that he has performed, uh, he tried to uh, create a permanent credential. However, he is not authorized and similarly uh, at these uh, he attempted these activities and he is not authorized to perform this activity with the help of compromised uh, AWS access key, right? So I will be moving on to the another query. So, so I told you that, you know, uh, okay, so uh, just let me run this particular query and then, uh, you know, I will try to elaborate little more. So what happens is now I am trying to group the results for the previous query with the help of one more field. So you can see uh, I have included access key ID, right? So you can see the access key ID, right? So before I uh, I, uh, I I elaborate little more, I will go to the previous slide. So just make a note of the key which has already been compromised, which is ending with UPA so that we know that and you can see that the access key ID basically starts with AK. So in AWS, anybody who has little bit of the knowledge of the AWS might know that the permanent credential basically starts with AK and the uh, temporary credentials basically starts with as right so yeah so you can see here uh, because i group uh, with uh, with the help of uh, the access key id you can see uh, you can see uh, here uh, that this is the permanent uh, credential and and in the in the second row you can see this is nothing but the temporary credential right so uh, this particular query because I try to group with the help of access key ID now we know what are the activities that are being performed by the permanent credential or what are the activities that are being performed by the temporary credential right so just wanted to uh, give you a little bit of uh, that as well right so now uh, we would like to basically know what are the events that are successful right so 
so i will be moving on to the another query so we bas we are basically interested of uh, really focusing or emphasizing on what are the events or what are the activities he has been successful at right the attacker has been successful at performing so let me run this particular query so you can see uh, the events the successful events are a get caller identity a uh, little bit more on this event name and get session token right so i will be giving you a little bit of glimpse of uh, of these two particular events so let me uh, go to this particular event and let me also try to go to this particular event as well we'll start with the get session token so get session token is one of the uh, command for creating a temporary credential uh, so the maximum expiry uh, of the temporary credential is 36 hours at most you can explicitly mention 2 hours 4 hours as per your priority as well so uh, so you can see the get session token right so a user uh, so for example you can see uh, 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 this attacker uh, with the help of the AWS compromise access key ID is trying to create a temporary credential and if I were to see the response elements you can see the temporary credential which he has created so far ends with JQA and starts with ASIA right so this is the temporary credential he has created so far and in the last in the last query we have seen that some of the activities some of the unauthorized attempts with the help of this temporary credentials like you know creating vpcs and and something of that sort so this is what i would like to elaborate uh, i wanted to elaborate a little so you can see that he is successful at creating a temporary credential you can also see the session token as well so for the temporary credential apart from access key and the secret access key you also have aws session token as well right so moving on so now i will be uh, showing you uh, you know the get caller identity just little bit of the el elaboration on on that particular event as well so for example if i expand this so when somebody invokes this particular command uh, get caller identity he is trying to he is trying to see uh, so uh, the attacker uh, the or the person who is in possession of this particular credential right is trying to retrieve some of the information so for example you can see that uh, he's he has successfully retrieved the information so what is the aws account id you can also see uh, what is the user identity arn so therefore the uh, the i am user as well you can also see the user id right so i believe moving on to the another query uh, yeah so i think i have given you a little bit of the hint of a get caller identity but just again uh, you know would like to make things little more simpler okay so again you know uh, so for example uh, i know this is the legit user and therefore i i uh, you know i excluded this so you can see that uh, uh, this attacker has attempted to gather information with the help of a get caller identity as the command uh, uh, with respect to the permanent credential as well as the temporary credential as well right so what he has retrieved he has retrieved the information with respect to the account aws account id also retrieved the uh, user identity arn and also uh, retrieved the user id as well so moving on uh, uh, so this is the primer for our subsequent videos but just wanted to uh, show you you know if somebody has uh, misconfigured an s3 bucket and you know make it public and that wasn't the intention you know so you might want to look at this particular command as well so so for example uh, what what we are trying to see here is uh, so i am interested in the events from the uh, event source which is nothing but s3 and i am also trying to exclude the read only events which starts with describe list and get and so for example uh, now here i have the event which is nothing but put bucket acl so let's go into this particular event so if I go to my current slide up, you know, so you, you, you see that, you know, if somebody has made 
द बकेट पब्लिक एंड इट वॉज अन इंटेंडेड यू नो योर क्लाउड ट्रेल लॉग शुड बी एबल टू हेल्प एंड दिस इज दी बेसिकली दी प्राइमर फॉर दी डे टू और दी सब्सिक्वेंट वीडियो वेर यू नो आई विल एक्सप्लोर मोर यू नो वॉट हैज हैपन वंस द बकेट हैज बीन मेड पब्लिक so now so for example now you can see that i ha i am here in the event so for example what i am interested in knowing is request parameters right so what is the permission put bucket acl so when you try to look at the s3 bucket you need to look holistically uh, you know at three different uh, points you know the public uh, public access block is one of the things Uh, you should also be looking at s3 bucket policy and you should also be looking at access control list so these are the three things which uh, which uh, together determines whether the bu uh, s3 bucket is public or not right so currently uh, you can see the request parameters and uh, uh, so request parameters what we are interested in uh, so for example here if i go beyond yeah so request parameters i am most interested in the permissions what is the permission he has uh, uh, he has set on this or the user has set on this particular s3 bucket you can see these are the permissions he has set on this particular s3 bucket and therefore the bucket is publicly exposed because you can see the full control right so the right is basically correspond to uh, somebody is able to put objects in a bucket and read is a self explanatory uh, explanatory that you know somebody is able to read objects from your s3 bucket and read acp is something if if you give this particular permission uh, the user will be able to retrieve information corresponding to uh, the permissions or the access control list which has already been applied to this particular s3 bucket so this particular policy or this particular acl which the user is trying to configure definitely expose uh, the bucket to the public and therefore it is a misconfiguration or uh you know it's it's the misconfiguration so as i told you this is the uh, primer for the subsequent videos and this is what we wanted to uh we wanted to uh you know uh, uh we wanted to cover with this particular video and so uh, you can see that the day one uh, we uh, we made a use of aws cloud trail and so now what 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 is the information we have looked so far you can see that the aws ip which attacker attacker has logged in from the uh, ip address uh, which belongs to the uh, aws and he has successfully created the temporary credentials and uh, we have also seen that the same attacker with the help of the compromised aws access key id was unsuccessful at creating the permanent credential and uh, or or unsuccessful at creating the uh, new user i think we have seen in the second query uh, we have also see that uh, so many unsuccessful attempts at creating default vpc in different regions and then we also explored about get caller identity where he tries to retrieve information with respect to the aws account id user identity and user id so that is it for uh, for the current video <coughs> i hope you liked it thank you